Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And uh, we are heading into week four here of our study of the life and legacy of George Washington. And uh, I was away on vacation last week. My family and I had a chance to go down to Williamsburg. And um, I didn't get to do as much of the history as I would have liked to. I've got a 16-year-old daughter, an 11-year-old son, and a 7-year-old daughter. And 100 degree heat and walking around Williamsburg is not conducive to a great family vacation. So we went to a water park instead. But we did get a chance to uh, sort of walk around Williamsburg a little bit. We got to go to Yorktown, which was cool to see. And so there was a lot of Washington uh, exposure while we were down there. And, and the kids know that I love Washington. So we take a picture after every statue that we see. But I do have to apologize because as I came back, um, I don't believe that my week three published. What I had done was I had um, completed my week three video lectures and had everything set up for you guys in week two, and I set a date for it to publish on June 28th. And I don't know that it did, uh, because when I came home, the module um, had not published, but all of the individual parts did. So I apologize if you guys were not able to see week three. So it's up and hopefully you had a chance to look at it and uh, can, can digest both week three and week four together here. Um, uh, but again, if you did have any problems, my apologies for that. Um, but this week, yeah, we're going to take a look at George Washington as president, just by a way of recap. Um, in week three, uh, we took a look, we, we took a look at George Washington, the general and saw um, how he was able to succeed um, by the skin of his, or the, or the hair on his little chinny chin chin, I guess, right, uh, in the American Revolution. Uh, Washington learned a lot of lessons in the French and Indian War that aided him during the American Revolution. Um, and he fought a war of attrition, which is essentially just don't lose. Um, continue to have an army to fight. And, and extend the war long enough to allow European involvement. And that's exactly what happened with France. But then even when France got involved, there was a struggle to coordinate the two sides in a way that would, would effectively be used. And really, um, it was almost by happenstance that Yorktown came about um, because Washington was really struggling to get the French to sort of uh, buy into whatever strategies he had. And Washington, of course, himself, um, almost bungled it because he wanted to uh, attack uh, the British at New York um, and luckily was um, sort of steered away from that by Rochambeau, the um, general of the French infantry, um, and said, no, I, the Yorktown's Cornwallis is there. We can get our Navy in and we can, we can surround them there. And it's exactly what happened, right? And that sort of was the penultimate. So in, in, in respect to my having just Venice, visited Yorktown, and uh, as a way of sort of going back and looking at that, what I want you guys to do right now is, is to uh, go ahead and click on the first video link that I have for you. And it's gonna take you to um, really one of my favorite uh, Broadway musicals, Hamilton, of course. Uh, just a little bit of a plug here. I'm, I'm doing a course in the second session here on Hamilton, where we literally will go through each song in Hamilton and then break down the historical significance, truths, uh, lies, uh, not lies, but truths or um, dramatic license, if you will, that happens throughout that. But uh, go ahead and click on the link. And what you're going to see is uh, the performance of the cast of Hamilton doing The World Turned Upside Down, which is the song that they did in regards to Yorktown, or in regard to Yorktown. Um, and it was their performance at the um, 70th Tony Awards, where they won just about every award. So go ahead and... Uh, revisit the American Revolution in week three with that, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at um, Washington, the president, where we're going to go this week. All right. 